Hello, I'm professional hunter Nathan Askew with Bullet Safaris. Here we've got a, a good leopard after a, obviously a successful hunt. Leopard hunting is one of my favorite things to do. It is one of Africa's most difficult animals to hunt. Uh, there's a lot of planning and preparation and work that goes into baiting these animals. It's important to pick uh, the right tree in that leopard's territory. Uh, the right tree means that he's in a, the tree is in an area where the leopard is comfortable, there's enough cover uh, for him to feed under, under normal circumstances and, uh, and to get him on bait during legal shooting hours. The, uh, to do that, you, you hang multiple baits for a cat. You do long scent drags uh, that the animal can pick up the scent and then follow it to the tree where you've placed your bait. Um, you hang enough baits and eventually you'll get a hit in a good area. Um, this area is, is really good, a high density of cats. We're in the Salu Game Reserve. Um, so we got this one actually on the fifth day of a 21 day hunt. When it comes to shot placement, um, you want to shoot at your you want to shoot at your leopard when he's standing in a normal position on the limb. Um, follow the leg straight up and, and shoot him right about in the middle of the body. His heart's going to sit here, his lungs are up into here, um, and then his shoulder blade of course is here. A well placed bullet from a 30 caliber, preferably a 375, uh, will knock these animals down. They're light skinned, very susceptible to shock, uh, and, and are easy to kill if they're hit correctly. Now the problem is it's such a highly anticipated shot that many clients um, many clients have a tendency to, to, to miss the shot and wound the animal. Um, under that, if that's the case, uh, we're gonna track uh, we're gonna track him down, which is difficult because he is a cat, doesn't leave a, a big print. But if he's wounded, he's probably gonna stay in his in his home territory. Eventually we're gonna find him and more likely than not that animal is gonna charge. Under that situation you wanna if at all possible, drop your level, uh, drop your level, and hold your shot to the last second. The uh, these cats are very fast. If you have to try to track him with your gun, you're going to shoot over his back. Uh, it's a scary situation. They make a lot of noise. They come real quick, and his goal is to intimidate you and to make you leave him alone. He's hurting, and he doesn't want you to push him anymore. Um, and then, of course, our job is to is to finish what we started and kill the animal as fast as possible. So. Uh, you know, a good first shot is is the is the key to prevent any of that kind of stuff. Um, with that being said, you know, leopard hunting is a it's a game of patience and a, and a game of thinking and and having a few tricks up your sleeve when the situation changes on you. Um, we've had a great hunt. It's one of my favorite uh, animals to hunt in Africa, and it's one of uh, one of the most beautiful animals I think in the world. Um, and it's a pleasure to be able to hunt them.